So hey, we're doing... <clears throat> this is probably the last episode on Sunset of Rimdahl. And there's these arrows down here in this weird little beta mode thing. I think that just took me back. Peculiar place. I want to go up here. There's a guy up here. Hiya, enjoying the game? <laughs> sure, Tio. Yeah. Great to hear. Hey, would you like to see a short explanation of how the graphics of this game are built? <laughs> I already figured that out. Sure, why not? Alright, here goes. Whoa. Starting from scratch, I first make a quick sketch of the scene. Okay, like so. It's pretty much necessary to use a drawing program where you can set a 18 by 18 pixel grid over the image to make sure the paths that you draw will fit the square based movement of RMPK. The next date. The next steps are pretty obvious. I draw the real lines over the sketch layer and erase the old layer. I love how the birds are still up there. <laughs> then I color the image. And finally, add some shades. But something still looks amiss here, does it not? Yeah, we're clipping through the wall. For the sprites to be able to walk behind parts of the scenery, I lay a copy of the background over the whole scene. Oh no, we despaired! Then I remove everything you're not supposed to walk behind from that image. Pixel by pixel, may I add... Oh, pixel by pixel, may I add. Pretty tedious work. I can understand that. But it does make a big difference, doesn't it? Finally, to give the image a bit more depth, I add light. And shadows. Both as images on separate levels so that the sprites will be affected by them. Yep, yep. Oh, one last thing. Waltz. It's not really different from any other game. When I edit the map, I use a little blocking tile. And when the map is done, I replace those tiles with other invisible but still impassable tile. That should sum it up. If there's anything else you want to know, talk to me on... something or something. That was pretty cool. This is a neat little aside. Well, that was pretty neat. So, um, this game, I kind of thought about it during the my rewatching of the intro because I had to sit through the whole intro again. Um, but I mean, the name is fitting with the ending they went with. It was sunset over Emdal. The sun is setting over Emdal. Like it's no longer a thing anymore. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I understand why they didn't go with, um, yeah, why they didn't go with, like, a, a happier ending, because the ending was still, like, bittersweet, so, um, yeah, but I think they did, like, a really good job with, like, the, uh, the style, and the story was actually really good. Um, and that twist was good, too, because, like, the entire time I was sitting there thinking, like, you know, like, how did this virus get in here, and, like, you know, w what are these people's motives, and near the end it just gets to, like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> um, 
So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this game. Um, except for the bat part. The bat part got on my freaking nerves. But, <laughs> other than that, I really liked it. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's about it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, this was uh, part of the 90s, playing uh, Sunset Over Endal. And, uh, as always, there will be a link in the description on how you can get this game yourself. So you can replay it, you can show your buddies, you know, whatever. So, until the next game, bye bye Auf den Start wartet.